All right, another update video on Jazzy. We are really getting there, making great progress today. It's about five o'clock on Monday. We got one more day of building and then a jam-packed remainder of the week. If we can get there, and I'm confident that we can. So in our last video, you can go back and watch it. We finished all of the plumbing. Uh, most of the plumbing was done yesterday. Today is completely done. We're good to go, including pressure lines, and uh, bypasses. So I'll show you that here in just a moment. Also today, as of today, electric is done. Let me show you what we've got here. We have a separate battery here. This is a truck battery. And then behind that is the battery that operates all of the equipment with the exception of the 10 gallon a minute machine. And I'll share that with you here in just a moment. So our reels are ready to go. Everything's golden. And looky here, yes sir, right up there, in all of its glory, the Flow Pro. My buffer tank and chemical tank are strapped in. I still plan to do one more strap up top, but this is just to get me through tomorrow. I just need to get to the fabricators, and I'll show you what he's going to do for me here in just a moment, but I have D-hooks on either side and I have a plate, an aluminum plate here that's super strong. So I have no worries, no concerns whatsoever. And again, this is just to get me through. I plan to do another one just like that at the top. So we're good. Let's look at this machine here. All is well. I have no gas, but we have 2,088 hours. Good to go. My fabricator is going to weld angle iron right here or four brackets or something. And that will allow me to mount the fuel cell. At that point, I can then put gas in it. Should be good to go. Why do I have a separate battery for the 10 gallon a minute machine? Well, for one, it is more wire that I'd have to run to that uh, initial primary battery. However, the main reason I have a separate battery is because if something were to happen to that battery or to this battery, I have a backup. It's just good to have redundancy in particular in those strong areas where if something happens, you're toast. So in all actuality on this rig, I already have a second battery in that my truck battery is immediately adjacent to my primary battery. So I actually have three batteries. Nonetheless, this will stay here and uh, the machine charges the battery so I never have to worry about charging it. This is the material for my sign, which will go right here. So two pieces of um, one inch aluminum square tubing will go here and then he will tack weld the plates on both sides and then I'll be able to run my bypass up and along and it won't be so busy but honestly the more I look at it the happier I am by the way I forgot to tell you about the box and the pressure port I mentioned this yesterday in my video that I was going to have my fabricator to weld this up so tomorrow morning nine o'clock I have an appointment and he's going to weld this. It's just three inch by one and a half inch um, square tubing. And uh, there's three, three of them, one, two, three. And then by the way, all of the wiring for the Flow Pro will go underneath the box. And this will then bolt one, two, three, four underneath. And it's right perfect in between two joists. Happy, happy. I may rebuild a lot of this just to clean it up. We'll see. Wanted to show you my ladder system. As you know, if you've been watching, it connects right here just perfectly. But it goes anywhere on the rig that I want it to. You can see these hooks right here. See those hooks? That just falls right into the little slot here, if you will. And then no hands are needed. You can just walk right up just like that. You see. So this gives me access to fill up my chemical tank. Tomorrow, per Amazon, I will have my fill line will come in and it will just lay between that little, I don't know what you call that, 
whatever you call that. That's where it's going to go, and it will just hang down below. Uh, appreciate all the advice. Yesterday, you were giving me advice about how to permanently, temporarily, permanently mount or secure these hoses. I do, in fact, think I'm just going to go to the back of the hose reels. I think that's the way to do it. Why I didn't think of that, I don't know. Probably because, well, I need you. So yeah, lots and lots of geography here. You know, real estate's good. If you've got extra room, you just feel good about working on things. At least I do. So I still have to run my um, downstream injector hose right there. Appreciate Tim Cray giving me advice on, on how to best do that. So again, just boop, walk straight down, just like so. <laughs> just love it. I just like doing it. I just like doing it. All right, Mike, the fresh rinse. I'm clocking out.